The doctor's making us wait. Why are we getting blamed? Well, there, you know, it's easy to blame doctors. We're good targets, and sometimes it is a doctor's fault. But what people don't understand is that patients create a lot of this, unfortunately, themselves. I find in my practice at least 20% of my patients show up at least 10 minutes late for their appointments. Mm -hmm. Sometimes emergencies happen as well. You know, we're physicians, and we have emergencies that delay us, and unfortunately, that means your appointment sometimes gets moved back. And then there's that group of what I call the oh by the way patient. It's those patients where you see a patient, everything is all set, you've used your time up that you spent, and then right when you're about to leave the door, they say, oh, by the way, Dr. Yoon, you know, I've had this pro type of new problem, or I've got chest pain that I forgot to tell you about. Now you've got to tack on oh, more yeah. time to the visit. All right. Maybe I've done that before. All right. Winifred from Facebook, <laughs> and by the way, people have been writing in on Facebook about this. Winifred says, the one thing I hate is, is waiting on a doctor and seeing them at the nurse's station, sitting around, drinking soda, and laughing. Are doctors slacking, Dr. Yoon? There, are, there is still that doctor mentality, unfortunately, out there where they pride their own time more, they value their own time more than their patients, and that is wrong. The good thing is that medical schools now are teaching new doctors that how we treat patients is just as important as what we treat them with. So hopefully this is something that will continue to change. That's good stuff. We could use that in law schools, too. Hey, how do we avoid these long waits? Well, if you're at all unsure, call the office before you show up and ask the staff, hey, does, he, does this doctor, is he or she run late? And, and if my appointment's at 1 o'clock, when am I actually going to be done with the appointment? If they don't tell you the truth, don't go back to that doctor. Find somebody else. I love that advice. That's perfect advice. Thank you so much, Dr. Yoon. Appreciate it.